Hello and welcome to News Click. I am Sumedha and today we are bringing you a glimpse of some of the most important stories that we report about at News Click. The best bus workers started their strike on the 8th of January alongside the general strike which is being called by the central trade unions nationwide. The striking workers are demanding higher wages. They are also demanding that their budget should be merged with the budget of the BMC. They are also wanting to negotiate on the new wage agreement as well as they are seeking bonuses at par with the BMC employees. In a bid to suppress the united movement of the workers, the Maharashtra government went on to impose the Maintenance of Essential Services Act of 2011 in the late hours of January 7. Meanwhile in Kerala, the KSRTC workers have decided to go on an indefinite strike starting January 17. The strike comes after the failure of the Transport Minister A.K. Saridharan of fulfilling his promises which were discussed in the last meeting. The decision was taken in a meeting of workers on Tuesday. The workers are demanding salary revision in a time-bound basis and also the payment of the dearness allowance arrears. Previously, the indefinite strike by the workers was scheduled for October 3. However, in a meeting which was conducted between Sathidharan as well as the Labour Minister T.P. Ramakrishnan, the workers were pacified. In the Bulanshahar violence case, the National Security Act is now being invoked against three for alleged cow slaughtering. The office of the UP DGP claimed that the proceedings were initiated as the act of cow slaughter caused acute terror in the Siena area. On December the 3rd, the alleged instance of cow slaughter had triggered a mob violence in the Siena region. It also led to the death of the police officer Subodh Kumar Singh as well as a local Sumit Kumar. The stringent NSA Act has been invoked against Nadim Azhar and Mehboob who were all arrested under the sections 3, 5 and 8 of the Cow Slaughter Act of 1955. They all happen to be the residents of the Siana region in Bulanshahar. The Patiala House Court in Delhi is all set to hear the sedition case against Kanaya Kumar, Anirban Bhattacharya and Umar Khalid. The court is considering the charge sheet which is filed by the Delhi police on Monday. The event took place on the campus on February 9, 2016. The event was supposed to commemorate the hanging of parliament attack mastermind Afzal Guru. Questioning the timings of the charge sheet, Kanaya Kumar has gone on to state that the attack on them is politically motivated ahead of the general elections which are about three months away. Taking a similar stance, Umar Khalid has stated that the move is a witch hunt. He has gone on to state that he has full faith in the judiciary and truth will prevail. The confusion in the US on its withdrawal from Syria and the fate of Kurds continues as President Trump, Mike Pompeo and John Bolton all made different statements. Donald Trump issued a warning to Turkey on Sunday asking them to refrain from attacking Kurdish forces in Syria as the US pulls out its troops. Meanwhile, the US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who is on an eight-day tour of the Middle East, also went on to placate both the sides, stating that a deal could be reached. US's National Security Advisor John Bolton, who spoke in Jerusalem earlier this week, said that US would expect Turkey's guarantee that Kurds would be protected after American troops leave Syria. He contradicted President Trump by stating that the planned withdrawal was conditioned on defeating the last surviving fighters of the Islamic State in Syria. That's all that we have for you today on this episode of the Daily Roundup. To follow these stories and many more, log on to our website www.newsclick.in, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook.